Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Just One Question. I am your host, Lion Flood. I sincerely appreciate y'all for being here today. We're going to be talking about something I think is very important. A couple of ways to get you to stop apologizing for being you. I just want to go ahead and put it out there just like that there. But without any further ado, let's do a little housekeeping and um, let's go ahead and get this party started. You're listening to Just One Question with your host, Lion Flood. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. All right, so we're going to jump right into it without any further ado, but for those who are watching... If you'd like to interact, go ahead and drop a couple of comments right there so we can see your questions and we can get back to you. For those who are listening direct in the podcast, uh, there'll be a couple of things I'll be talking about and you are able to um, go ahead and message us as well. Send us an email and we love hearing and reading all of our fan emails that are coming through. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this and we want to know what's that one question. I guess that's the question, right? We keep asking ourselves, where do we go for our hair? Where do we go for my hair and life and everything that we're doing? Well, I'm extremely excited because tomorrow we're going to have a special guest that's coming on, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that here just in a little while. But let me just go ahead and jump into what I mean. I know people feel like you owe a duty to other people to apologize for your actions. And you don't. Why? I went to someone's home today and they apologized for the way their house looked. I have never, and I'm going to tell you honestly, I will never apologize to you for the way my home looked. It's my home. You don't like how it looks? Don't come in. Why am I apologizing to you for, hey, sorry for how the house looks? Why? Why should I be? Why should I be sorry for how my home looks um, to someone else when they come in, right? But that's just a small little example. But let's find out a little bit more. Stop apologizing for asking questions. I know people who will ask a question. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ask you that. Oh, I apologize for asking you these things. Why? Have that confidence in yourself for your actions. You deserve it. You don't need to tell someone what you're sorry about, right? That doesn't affect your your life that doesn't affect theirs. And either way, if you're asking them, they don't want to hear your questions, they can leave, they can stop, they can, um, you know, just stop being around you, right? Um, also, stop apologizing for not being available at all times. What is this feeling that you feel like you're, you need to be available for someone else's uh, needs, They need you to run to the store. They need you to listen to them vent. They need you to do all of these things for what? You don't need to. Stop apologizing. It's okay to say no. I've told y'all before, I carry me a no button around. And if I don't directly want to say it, I'm going to let you know just like this. No, no, no. A thousand times no. No, a thousand times no, right? And I, I have no quarrels or worry about it if you don't like me after i tell you no that i'm not available to do something for you that's something you got to deal with right that's your issue um stop apologizing for your feelings if you feel tired if you feel like you don't want to deal something that's your feelings you don't need to apologize to someone else because you're exhausted because you don't want to do it you got to make up an excuse of why you can't go to the store with them why you can't go to the club with them, why you can't go to an event with them. Oh, and then you got to cover one line with another. It's time to stop all of that. No, 
Why can't you take me to the gas station? I don't need to tell you why. Why can't you get a vehicle to take your own self to the gas station? Maybe you asking me these questions, right? Ask yourself those questions. You don't need to worry about that. Stop apologizing for vocalizing your needs. That is a big one. If you need something from your partner, from your lover, from your spouse, from your friend, tell them and do not let it make you afraid. Hey, you know what? I need you to be more present when you're around me. I need you to place your phone on vibrate when we're watching this movie and spending time together. That's what I need. If you can't give me what I'm asking for, then that shows me more about you than me. Stop apologizing. You don't need to, right? Um, Stop apologizing for outgrowing a place or a situation. If you are listening to my voice, I really hope you can see my face right now. Stop apologizing for outgrowing a place or a situation. Oh, you've changed. Yes, I have. That's a part of life. We grow. You haven't? You still want to party and go do all this until 3, 4 in the morning? Have fun at it. I choose not to. I'm focusing on something else in my future. You don't need to apologize to someone if they think that you're different. Yes, I am different. I'm looking for something more out of life. And I don't need to apologize to you or tell you that I'm sorry because I want something different. I've outgrown this situation. I've outgrown partying. I still like to party, but not like we used to, right? I still want to enjoy this type of atmosphere and this type of restaurant or something, but I want to make sure I'm enjoying it uh, to the point that I like it and not feeling like I'm obligated to go just because you want me to go. So apologizing about your accomplishments. This is a big one for me. I do not apologize for my accomplishments. People tell me, oh, you shouldn't brag. Why not? Why should I not brag? I'm excited. My spouse is excited. My family's excited about I don't care. You know, someone told me one time when I would travel, you're taking all those pictures of the places that you're at. And you shouldn't do that because it makes people feel like, you know, you're showing off. I don't care what they feel. That's their issue, their feelings. I'm not making them feel that way. I put a picture up. If they look at it and they get a feeling from it, that's on them. Maybe me also pl- uh, posting those pictures are ex- um, aspiring, inspiring family members or friends to say, wow, I want to be there. I want to. I tell you, and I'll vocalize it right now. One of our goals that my wife and I are working towards doing now is hitting the Maldives. We really want to go. Why? Just because we want to and we have the ability to. I'm not going to apologize to you for my accomplishments because I, um, you know, got a new job or you, you just got a new vehicle or and you have to apologize or feel bad because you don't want to tell the world. You don't want to tell them that you're doing well for yourself. Why are you ashamed of it? Because you're afraid that they're going to look at you differently? Stop. I'm encouraging you. Stop apologizing for something like that. Stop apologizing for not looking presentable the world is tough enough if your hair if your nails if something is not done to perfection or you think that they're looking at it why oh i'm sorry my hair's not done why why are you apologizing about it that thing's going to change about the way they look at you if they look at you and your hair your nails or whatever isn't done and they don't want to be around you again it is on them You don't need to apologize for something like that, right? These are a couple of things for you to stop apologizing for. You don't need it. You can do this. Stop apologizing for doing things that make you happy. If going to a movie on Tuesdays after work makes you happy, if it's not harming anyone else's life, then stop apologizing about it. They don't need it. I've told you several times, and I'm going to say it again. Give yourself a round of applause because that's what it's all about. If no one else is going to give you a round of applause, give it to yourself. Love yourself for what you want and what you can become. Stop apologizing for things like that. Stop apologizing for having boundaries. 
Yes, you are allowed to tell someone, do not call my home past a certain time. This is my relaxation time. If I want to sit down and enjoy a glass of wine and watch some movies or a beer at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, it is my time. I'm placing my phone on do not disturb. Matter of fact, I don't need to. If I see you calling, I'm just going to hang up. Oh, hey, I saw you online, but you can't answer my calls. Yep, that's because I chose to do it. I'm not obligated to answer your calls. I'm not obligated to be at your beck and call when you choose to, right? These are a few things that I want you just to go ahead and just strengthen yourself, work at. Don't you got to do them all at once. Take one little thing. Say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to take self-care on this day of the week at this time. And that's my two hours. That's my time frame to sit down and relax, watch my TV or do whatever I choose to, right? So I'm excited about the way that this podcast is going. I want to thank all of our listeners, all of the viewers out there who continue to just listen. It may not seem like something to you know to one person, but it can mean the world to what, that one person, right? I remember there's a song that I heard, and it said, um, you may not be the world to that person, all, but that person could be the world to you, or something like that. I'm going to find it. And I'm going to put it in the notes right there. So I'm extremely excited about tomorrow. We have a guest coming. Um, her name is Nicole Parcini. She is an engineer at Microsoft. And she's going to be coming on, talking about her um, trials, her tribulations, how she got into a world mostly dominated by men, being an engineer. We can't go too directly into all of her work because some of that is, you know, client privilege and everything but she's um she's from saint martin uh, from the islands so being a caribbean lady she's going to come on and talk about some of the differences and the um trials that she's had adjusting to like the country and everything like that so make sure you tune in tomorrow we're going to post it up Uh, we should be going on roughly four o'clock p.m pacific time 7 o'clock Eastern time and all the other times in between. But I want you guys to be here. So if you have any questions, if you, especially if you're someone who's ever thought about going into that field, right, into engineering, into um, the computer world, come with a couple of questions. I want you all to listen. And if you're listening to this podcast, um, you can be able to hit a replay and get all her information as, to, um, as well tomorrow. So I'm excited, but I want you just to kind of take a look to so our special guest tomorrow, Nicole Parchini. <laughs> Sun and moon.